YouTube. What is good? So I hope you enjoyed your holiday so far. This week a little drone footage and some macro shots. So let's roll that intro and let's just get started. enjoyed that segment from the drone footage it was shot during one of the colder days while it was freezing during the night time so one of the it's a, it are two different days one day a shot when it was still like freezing but not too much and then the other one is shot during sunrise and as you can see i live in a pretty forest kind of area the only problem is i have a train line in front of me if you've watched previous videos you will hear the train sometimes passing by even though i'm shooting this on a mic which has the yeah the dead cat on it to prevent any noise and it's a pretty direct mic so yeah sometimes it happens um so yeah that's the drone footage it was toned in premiere with some yeah with just playing around nothing crazy just playing around with lumetri and it were two different days the one has the sun already like it was around 11 ish in the morning the other one was really early like 8 ish when the sun was rising now enough about the drone i'm still learning how to go around with it but let's jump into my macro shooting so i've been i've got a i bought a macro lens like already a, a few months years ago um, it is the Sigma, the normal one, not the RD one, just the normal one. Nothing too crazy. Let's see if I can show it to the cam. If it wants to focus. So it's this one. And I bought it with the ID to use it when doing beauty shots to make really close up shots from like an eye, the lips. Because before I shot it with the 7200. And the D850, the Nikon, is 46 megapixels, which means if I crop it, I would still have enough megapixels to eventually edit my image on. But it's such a mess, like focusing, doing a little step backwards, doing a step forwards, and it just kept hunting, hunting, hunting. So I decided to invest into this one. It's around 400-ish euros. Now, enough about the macro. So I went outside when it had frozen a night. And I went in the garden and did some macro shots. Now, I cropped them all at a 1-1 ratio because I really like that ratio when doing really close-up macro shots from eyes in this case. So let me jump into Capture One and let me go through some of the images. So when we open up Capture One, you can see that I shot 153 images outside from the freezing night. It was shot in uh, around late afternoon you can tell by looking at the sun that was already setting there now these are all the images so i'm just clicking some random images this is just me putting on the sigma and the nikon d850 no strobes no tripod just handhold and just playing around with the shooting of the images now i first started out for instance with four and a half f four and a half aperture 
and I quickly came to realize that, hey, that's not enough depth of field. So I immediately changed it to F11. And yeah, then it just went like... So I then just went to F11 and I just yeah played around with some. Now let me just make a quick selection by selecting the green color tag. These are all the images. Let me just undo that. These are all the images I've selected to keep. Why did I select them? Well, I cropped them one by um, in a ratio of one by one because I really like the the attention. So you get drawn into the image to a specific area. Now, if we want to see this bigger on the screen, we just have to hit Control or Command T on a Mac. We remove the sidebar. And if we want to reduce the browser, one thing we could do is just like drag it that way. Or if you want to completely remove it temporarily, just hit Ctrl or Command B. And now we have a full screen of the selection we have. Now, let me just take the eye hand. So these are all the images I've selected. Let me just go through them one by one. So this one is from Poison, Poison Ivy. This one is from one of the branches, uh, the fruit trees outside. And here you can immediately see the nice bouquet it creates, even at f11. Because the sun was pretty low, the light is really soft, but still has depth to the image. So this is just grass that's uh, standing outside. Again, grass. These are from the shoot we had earlier that day. They are, um, yeah, the tree, the Christmas tree branches. So that was about it. So let me just go over it, how I mixed the orange and the yellows and how I emphasized the actual yellow or orange in the image. So let's bring back those sidebars. So hit Ctrl T, hit Ctrl B from browser. And here they are again. So I'm going to open my edit settings. So I'm going to open up this one. Here you can see I boosted the highlights and the whites a lot because we really want to make these images pop and I played around with clarity and structure. If I go through these images you can see most of the time it's playing around with saturation, the high dynamic range tab and the clarity. Now clarity, structure like for these, this is 100%. Structure really gives you a pop in the image, the same with clarity. Now you can see your changes by holding down the alt key on your keyboard and just clicking on this it temporarily disables the adjustments you've made in that tab so let's zoom out again the same here the same here and now i really wanted to make that orange pop in all the images so i want to go for a green orange vibe in all of the selected images now one of the things you can do in capture one is you can target a specific color Targeting a specific color goes by going to the color tab, which is logical since we will be adjusting color. And then we have something that's called the color editor. Now, if it's not there, you can go to window, create floating tool. And then in here you have the color editor, which you can select. And then it just pops out like this. You go to advanced and in advanced, you can play around with it. Now I'm going to close this thing down because something funky is going on a remove tool but i'm gonna focus on this side so i'm gonna take the eyedropper i'm gonna tap on the oranges and in the oranges you can boost the saturation like a lot that's what i did so this is my first selection i boosted the saturation and the same with this so you boost the targeted color now keep in mind like for instance for this image if we undo this because i recorded this video and then i came to the conclusion i was recording the wrong screen good job we say <laughs> um so i want to bring in some more oranges in the bouquet so or however you want to pronounce it so you just tap into the brownish vibes and you just boost saturation now as you can see it's boosting the entire image so it's actually introducing some more greens as well 
and we don't want to boost the greens we want to boost only the oranges now one thing we can do is the triangle is actually the color it is taking into consideration and the point tells you that's the actual point you have sampled now we can shift this manually so we can tell it to shift the colors more that way we can take this point take away the greens from it and as you can see it immediately changes the vibe in the image i'm gonna take out the pink as well so now we are more targeting this area and then by just dragging this point around as you can see this was before this is after and all these little things make adjustments to an image and it creates that nice color vibe in an image now i can even drag this one more towards the edge perhaps take in this a little bit more there we go and if you remember from a previous video i did about layers in capture one you can actually stack this up so you can create a new layer mask just paint for instance on this area and a little bit on this side and then you can tell it to do another color editor thing just click on the color you want to enhance and then you just i'm gonna hit m because i want don't want to see the layer mask i want to see the adjustments i'm doing so that can be done by hitting the shortcut key m on your keyboard and then i can just like boost saturation and as you can see it only affects the area i just painted in now this is way too much we can also make it a little bit darker or a little bit brighter but not brighter because if we make it things brighter we take the attention away from the front elements so i'm just gonna reset this by double clicking on it and now if you see before after now for me my personal taste for this series it's too much somewhere around there should be fine so all the adjustments before after and it's the same with this one like if you hold down the alt key click on it before after and you can just play around with it like if you want for instance in this image you want to enhance the oranges you just tap on it and you just boost it like crazy if it's on the entire image you shift around with the triangle with your little dot and then you can enhance or um, undo all the changes you've done so this is like something else i've love to do but it's something i don't always have time for and i don't have the perfect um subjects for it and it are excuses but that's something to take away for next year so in the end this is like the entire selection i've made it are 13 images let me know below what you think of it if you've made it this far so i totally love how they came out the only thing i don't know for this one for instance do i keep this little segment or not and here we have some spider traces but i still love them the same here this little part do i take them out or not but let me know below what you think of this tiny macro selection it took me about like let's say 30 minutes to take the images a little bit more time to crop them and then some post-production in capture one but it was done really slowly no pressure just being creative um so here you can really see the green the oranges it works really nice it's a nice color scheme so let me just change back to the big screen and let's talk a bit more oh macro shots it will be something i will be taking away with 2022 2022 and this brings us to the final video from this year on my youtube channel so i would like to thank each and every one of you who watched the video from me who subscribed who liked who supported the channel a big thank you without you it wasn't even possible to keep just doing this i want to bring up the level a little bit more in 2022 try to keep it at one video each week at least now it all depends from my time schedule i'm just doing this for fun and to teach you guys and girls something about photography in general so if you got any subjects you would like to see next year don't forget to let me know below 
hit that little like button if you had something from this video subscribe and all the good things and and then i wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year and i'll see you in 2022 ciao ciao